Hey you guys, it's Christina and welcome to day seven of the Healthy for the Holidays Challenge. Celebrating the holidays, your health, and the launch of my new book coming in January called The Fully Raw Diet. I'm so excited that you're here. Nine videos, nine days, a book, and giveaways to help get you healthy for the holidays. And a bonus video coming for you on day 10. Today we're gonna be making raspberry fudge squares. They're ooey, gooey, sweet, and delicious, and I know you will love them. If you haven't already signed up for this free challenge or gotten your shopping list or meal plan, you can get them now on my website at fullyraw.com or click on the link in the description of this video. Everyone, literally everyone who participates in this challenge by signing up on my website at fullyraw.com and who participates daily by liking and commenting and sharing will get a free PDF of the recipes that are not included in my book. There are multiple prizes and giveaways for joining this challenge. All the different ways to win are outlined on my website page and you can win things like a Vitamix blender, a Juice Presso juicer, a cool fully raw produce shopping bag, glass straws, t-shirts, a spiralizer, a year's worth of water from Evermore Water, and a cute wooden utensil set. The more you engage and share, the more points you build to win one of these prizes. It is day seven of this easy challenge. Your goal being to eat one fully raw meal a day. And today we're gonna be making raspberry fudge squares. Yum! These are not only the perfect holiday dessert or treat that you can share and make with your family and your friends, but they are so delectable, made with six easy ingredients, and you guys, I just love these fudge squares, and I know that you will too. You only need six simple ingredients to make these fudge squares. Are you ready? Let's get started. For this recipe, I'm gonna be using a food processor to make the fudge, and I'm gonna be using my Vitamix blender to make the raspberry glaze filling. When you're ready, go ahead and add into your food processor approximately three cups of pitted dates, one cup of pecans, a half a cup of raw carob or cacao powder, and if you want it to be super chocolatey and gooey, don't forget that trick that I taught you that if you take a little bit of water and mix it in first, it creates a chocolatey type of pudding. Optional on top of that, you can add in about a cup of mulberries to give it a little more texture. And if you wanna add in a little bit more crunch, you can add in some sweet cacao nib. Go ahead and pulse this until it reaches a fudgy type of texture. And then when ready, go ahead and grab a glass Pyrex if you have one or any type of fudge pan and press your first layer on into the Pyrex. And save a little bit because we're gonna be making three layers and adding in the rest of it on top. After this, we're gonna go ahead and put half of our fudge mix off to the side. And then we are gonna go ahead and blend up approximately two to three cups of fresh organic raspberries and a half to a full cup of dates. That's it. Yum! When you've got that blended, go ahead and pour your raspberry filling on top of your first layer of fudge. Then, after you've got it set, go ahead and grab the rest of your fudge and start spreading it on top of your raspberry filling. So right now, you're gonna have three decadent layers that are gonna end up making our raspberry fudge squares. After this, go ahead and put it in the freezer for about four or five hours to let it harden up. And when ready, take them out of the freezer and voila! We have the most beautiful looking, sweet tasting, fully raw vegan raspberry fudge squares. You guys, don't these look delicious? All right, you guys, I hope that you are excited to make this recipe and share it with your family and your friends. If you're participating in the challenge and if you want to make raspberry fudge squares, I think you should give this video a thumbs up and comment below and let us know what you think. If you need more tips, tricks, or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe here to Fully Raw Christina as we have fun in the kitchen making delicious desserts together. If you want to follow me daily, you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Fully Raw Christina. All right, you guys, I hope that you make these fudge squares and that you love them. 
I'm gonna go and enjoy myself some of these and I send you all my hugs and my love and I'll see you tomorrow on the next day of our challenge. Bye.